Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Garage Brewing Company. These guys are out of California. Uh, this is their Marshmallow Milk Stout. Uh, not a big beer, a 7.10%. Uh, I got this from Donovan and the guys out there at Serve All Liquors in San Diego. CraftCity.com on the internet. Check them out. They have a lot of beers that you can purchase and have them shipped into uh, your state if your state allows that and uh, you get to try some of these beers that aren't available in your area so uh, these guys got it going on go got it going on out there and they have a whole lot of beers to choose from so if you're looking for something you can't get in your area from the west coast uh, check them out uh, all right this is their uh, their milk stout, their sweet marshmallow is what they're calling it. Marshmallow milk stout, 7.1%. Uh, and it has a little uh, white box here at the bottom on the corner here that says uh, uh, date bottled. And the dating machine is all the way off to the right side of that label. I can see 07, then, then the slash, and then the 2. Uh, then underneath of that it says 3170. I'm pretty sure this is a 2017 edition, and it was done in July 20-something, the 20th up to the 29th. I can't see that because that's off the label. The machine is printing it off the damn label. I may need to tweak that just a little bit, get it over on the damn label. Uh-huh. Imagine that. Uh, but like I said, not a huge beer. It's a big bottle, huge bottle, 22-ounce bottle here. Uh, enough to share, which I intend to do here. Uh, so let's get on with this. Commercial description. Uh, Beer Advocate doesn't have anything. Uh, Untap says, pure decadence with none of the gooey mess. And if you close your eyes, you'll picture yourself nestled around a campfire. So maybe they're thinking maybe a little bit of s'mores action going on there. And it doesn't say anything about any graham cracker, but marshmallow stout, milk stout, sweet stout. They use lactose in the brewing process. So. Well, let's get it on. Uh, nothing else we need to talk about, so let's get it in the glass. Final beer of the evening for me. A little bit of hiss. Not much smoke. Into the glass, it says, Food Pairing General Chocolate Dessert. Glass part of pine back and not come to mug, sign, sidel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass. It says here, not recommended for sending salary. It's a low ABV sound. Uh, I don't know why you couldn't sell it for a little while, six, twelve months. It doesn't say anything about any coffee used in the brewing process. A nice finger of head in there, a very creamy khaki colored head. Over to the light, it is pitch black, guys. Looks like a stout in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh. Big time marshmallows. Wow, vanilla marshmallows. Maybe a hint of some coconut in there. This is definitely a dessert beer, guys. Wow, it smells it smells just like a dessert. The marshmallows are off the chain, guys. I mean, unbelievable. I don't think I've ever smelled a beer that had this much marshmallow smell. Almost smells like cotton candy. It's got such a sweet smell. Wow. This is a dessert. I mean, it, if, you, if you're not pairing this with the dessert, this could be your dessert. Unbelievable. Wow. Cotton candy marshmallow. That's what I'm getting on the nose. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Donovan and all the guys out there at Subbottle Liquors.
Oh, very tasty. The taste is just like the aroma. It's like a liquid form of cotton candy marshmallow combined. A little bit of heavy bitterness on the back end. That's the only drawback to this. They've used it, in my opinion, in my humble opinion as a home brewer, they've used a little bit too much bittering hops on this. Well, maybe they needed to. It's got a very pleasant taste and aftertaste. Heavy on the cotton candy ash slash marshmallow, vanilla. That is most definitely a dessert beer, guys. Wow. That's pretty damn tasty. That is a dessert in a bottle. That is very, very nice. Very well done. Very well done. It's exactly what it says on the label. Marshmallow milk stout. Milk stout means it has lactose, means it's sweet. So you got a nice sweet cotton candy vanilla. Slight hint of some coconut in there. Very tasty. A great dessert beer, guys. This would be a, an excellent beer to, to pair with some, some kind of chocolate or, or uh, marshmallow dessert. Mm. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very impressive. Uh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think I've had anything that had that big of a marshmallow, cotton candy aroma and taste like this one does. So. Well, let's run out of the fridge and set it warm up, pour her glass, and sip on it for a little bit, and then we'll come back. Uh, kind of impressed on this. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is an excellent dessert beer, guys. Uh, the marshmallow, the vanilla, cotton candy-esque aromas and taste very very tasty that's exactly what they wanted this beer to be it's a very tasty dessert beer uh, this could be your dessert or you could, it would go very well with some kind of vanilla marshmallow-esque chocolate dish uh, very pleasant uh, they just need to fix their dating machine it's not even printing on the label here it's running off onto the bottle and you can't even see it on the bottle it's been smudged off, but it is a 2017 edition of this. Uh, very low ABV, it being only 7.1%. Very tasty. I enjoyed this. This is a great dessert beer. The aromas is off the chain as far as cotton candy, vanilla, marshmallow, aromas and taste. It's delicious. It's like a candy bar in a glass. Wow. Final joke. Very well done. Very, very well done, guys. Uh, to me, in my opinion, they hit the nail on the head on this one. Uh, it's not a huge beer, but it's a great dessert beer or something to have with a dessert or as your dessert. So uh, they hit the nail on the head on this one. Uh, I think this is a neat beer. I'm going to uh, give it to 8 and an 8 minus because the dating machine is kind of screwed up on this. Uh, it's very, very tasty. It's a great beer. If you're into that kind of beer with the marshmallow, uh, lactose, uh, which gives it a, a sweetness to it, which the lactose, uh, for you guys that don't know, lactose is an unfermentable sugar that keeps a nice sweetness to the beer that the yeast can't eat up while it's fermenting. So it, instead of being a very dry beer on the end, when they do lactose in there, it adds that sweetness to the back end, which these dessert beers are famous for and are uh, very tasty. Uh, you get that big sweetness on it. It's a, it's a dessert beer. It is. And they hit the nail right on the head, like I said. Uh, a minus for me, uh, numeric rating for me on this one, guys, would be a 90. That's where I would put this. And I would probably even give it a little bit better score if the dating machine could hit the mark on the label where they're trying to put it but it's running off onto the bottle and you can't see everything they're trying to put on there. So somebody needs to correct that. Uh, other than that, it's a great beer. And if I could see the, the vintage on it, 
a little bit better. I might give it a little bit better score. I may even go up to the nine scale. But, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a nine beer and an eight bottle. That's where I put it. 90 for me, A minus. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 89. Very good. That's num one number away. So, uh, very tasty beer, guys. Uh, over to Untap for our final check in. They have it at 3.98. That's right at their B plus A minus scale to me. Uh, we're all pretty close there. Uh, we're within one digit or two from 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 uh, everybody's score. So it's it's a well made beer. It is a very tasty beer. A great dessert beer. That's what it is. That's what that's where they were going with this. It is a great dessert beer. Uh, I don't think I've had anything else that's had this much marshmallow, vanilla, cotton candy esque aromas to it. So very well done. Very very well. So, if you've had this one from uh, Garage Brewing, their Marshmallow Milk Stout, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I enjoyed this. Great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Getting ready to go have some dinner. So, until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.